Okay, the last of the big sort of Vs, the, the main aspects of big data is variety. Remember, we're talking about issues with big data here. So variety in big data refers to all the structured and unstructured data that has the possibility of getting generated either by humans or by machines. So what we're trying to highlight here is all the different types of data that are going into these data sets, whether it's known as structured or unstructured, I'll explain in a minute. But this variety of different types of data is an issue because if you're trying to analyze lots of different types of data, that becomes complicated. So the most commonly added data are things like text, text information, tweets, pictures, videos. Now that's common, okay? But then you've also got things that are known as unstructured. So they're structured. You've also got unstructured, which is stuff like emails, voicemails, handwritten text. Um, so like pictures of handwritten text, things like that echocardiogram readings, audio recordings, etc. There's loads, okay? They'd all be classed as unstructured because what you're trying to think of structured and unstructured is if you think of your traditional databases where you've got your rows and your columns, if you could easily fit the data into columns, so you give each things different categories, that's structured data. But lots of the data we're collecting information on in these big data sets is unstructured. And that variety of structured and unstructured data, it, it makes the data sets potentially quite messy and if they're quite messy data sets they're then hard to analyze okay so the ability to classify incoming data into different categories is a massive massive difficulty of big data